Hi children. Good morning everyone. Hope you are ready for today's NS class. Let's start the lesson of animals and their food. Up to now you have studied about the food we need and also the about the different types of plants and how do the plants get their food and so on. Now we are going to learn about the animals and their food habits. In this lesson you are going to learn about the food habits of different animals, classification of the animals based on their food habits and also adaptation of these animals based on their food habits and interrelationship between the plants and the animals for their food which is called as food chain or food web. Ok children, let's start our new lesson. What is it? Animals and their food. What is the name of the lesson children? Animals and they fit. Okay. So this is the third lesson of your state syllabus. Okay. Let's, what are the topics that we are going to cover in this lesson now? So the first is about the food habits. Different food habits of different animals. Food habits of different animals. Secondly, you are going to learn about the classification of the animals based on their food habits. What is it? Classification of animals based on their food habits. Dear children, next. Thirdly, you are going to learn about the mode of living of different animals. Mode of living. How do they live? How do they live? Mode of living of different animals. And also adaptation of animals to the particular place. How do, the, how do certain animals adapt to the particular place depending upon their food habits? Adaptation of different animals at different places. Okay, next, fifthly, last, uh, the main topic about is, uh, that is about the food chain and food web. That is the interrelationship between the plants and the animals. Interrelationship. between plants and animals. Okay children, these are the main topics that are covered in this lesson. What is the first one? Food habits of different animals. What are the different food habits? Some animals eat only grass or the plant products. Isn't it? So they, what are they called and what, how do they, what do they eat? Everything you are going to learn about the food habits of different animals over here. Some animals eat only flesh and some may depend both on plant products and animal products for their food. And some depend on only flesh of the other animals. So like this, you can classify the animals based on their food habits. So what is the classification of the animals you are going to learn next. Okay, so based on the classification of the animals and also you are going to learn about the adaptation of the particular animals and how do the, what is the mode of living. So mode of living in the sense that where do they live and what, what are the main, uh, that is the, uh, the availability of the food the particular place uh, relates to their mode of living. Okay, so where do they live? How do they live? On what factors of the adaptation of the particular animal depend upon in a particular place? Everything you are going to learn in these two topics. Next, interrelationship between the plants and animals. So what is this interrelationship called? Why is this interrelationship between the plants and animals takes place? So what is the relationship Fun between the plants and animals and how does this interrelationship takes place. 
for is it for food shelter or anything else so you are going to learn in this five subtopics of this lesson animals and their food hope you have understood this introduction part and now i am going to tell you about the food habits of the different animals okay children note down this points say children you might be having a pets in your home isn't it so like cows dogs cats everything that hens you might be having in your home as a pet sometimes so what do they eat yes cow if it is a cow what do you supply to it you will be supplying grains or oil cakes or anything like that sort isn't it so uh, if it is a dog you'll be giving it or the rice or a bread or a meat or biscuits so on isn't it so depending upon the type of the food that eats you will be supplying it to eat the type of food material so some animals like cows they are that is they are the, they are domestic animals and also they are herbivores that is they eat only plant products plants or the grass and so on isn't it so they eat grass oil cakes and so on so you can write over here as for buffalo it is given so what is the name of the animal see the table in the, on the board children buffalo what does the bu buffalo eat children buffalo eats grass oil cake hay grain grass oil cake hay and grain grains also it takes as its food okay chill next is cat cat eats both the grains and also the flesh it isn't it it hunts rats and other small animals as you know well so what does the cat eat children cat eats flesh of the other animals and also it drinks milk as you know well isn't it so it drinks milk it eats grains also like rice and all it takes rice in the form of rice it takes curd rice and all it will be taking and it also eats rats isn't it so in the similar manner you can complete the table of the other animals which eat depending upon their food habit okay children so here the lion you know very well that lion eats only flesh of other animals so what does the lion eat it eats the flesh of other animals so other small animals it will be eating other smaller animals next tiger tiger also the same thing it also eats the flesh of other animals okay next spider hope it is visible to you now clearly spider what does the spider eats the spider eats insects and worms insects and worms all of you open your class books and note down this table chill so like this you have to complete the food habits or the food the animal eats for the other animals that i give you now so in a similar manner you know that some animals may be eating only plant products like cow buffalo goat sheep and etc so they have herbivorous animals they eat only the plant products and uh, some animals eat the flesh of other animals like a uh, uh, lion tiger etc wolf cheetah so these are the animals which depend on other they live in forest and they depend on the flesh of other animals mostly isn't it and next there are certain animals like cat hen 
birds like hen dog these are these animals they eat plant products and also the animal products and also the animals also as such so these they what are they called we'll see in next classification next write down here complete this table and i'll give you the other animals also for you to write as a homework okay note down this first continue the table now children over here this is house lizards now we are continuing the table once again and repeating house lizards so i have already told you about buffalo cat isn't it so lizards these are the reptiles you know well lizards eat insects isn't it in your house if you see the lizards they are will be crawling over the walls and door we'll be observing them catching the insects isn't it so they eat insects and the cow as you know very well cow eats grass and also grains hay isn't it so like this you will be writing about the food habits of the cow next rat if you see the rat what does the rat eat in your house if you see sometimes it eats grains isn't it nuts rat eats grains nuts and also with some vegetables also it will be eating at your home yes or no yes rats might eat maybe mostly depending on the grains see the table number 1 of page 22 and complete the remaining as it is okay so grains fruits seeds nuts everything will be eaten by the rats human beings as you know very well that human beings depend upon the vegetables grains all the types of cereals fruits nuts oil seeds everything so the food they eat both the uh, vegetarian food and also the non vegetarian food like uh, they depend upon the mutton eggs also isn't it so chicken mutton everything they will be eating so human beings uh, they eat both the, the grains and also the flesh of the animals next butterfly butterfly as you know very well that it depends on the nectar of the plants so butterfly depends upon the nectar of the flowers so human beings they eat grains cereals pulses nuts and also and also they eat flesh isn't it flesh in the sense that is they depend on both the animals and plants for the food butterfly it takes nectar from plants is it clear next crow crow also depends on both the plant products like grains it also eat grains and also it depends upon the insects for its food hope you have understood this table children clearly now so this is about the food habits of different animals now seeing this food habits of different animals you can come to the conclusion that some animals depend on plants for food like cow here we have seen and also the buffalo also we have seen like this cow buffalo goat sheep donkey so elephant uh, parrot if you see all these you can say that they depend only on plants and plant products for their food okay so the, the nature the classification of the animals is mainly based on their food habits one of the classification of the animals is based on their food habits that is some animals depend on plants for their food some animals depend on animals for their food like what are the animals which depend on animals for their food children it is lion tiger cheetah wolf leopard and so on you can say isn't it so from this table we can conclude that some animals depend on only plants for their food okay and next point we 
can say that some animals depend on only animals for their fur. That is some depend, they eat flesh of the other animals, isn't it? So we can say that some animals depend on only other animals for their fur. Okay. And next, we have all also seen that some animals depend on both plants and animals for their fur. Okay. So, they are human beings especially. They depend on both plants and animals for their fur. Here, animal, human beings are also considered under the animal kingdom. Okay. So, some animals depend on both plants and animals for their fur. So now, you have come to the conclusion that there are animals which depend on only plants for their fur. There are animals which depend on only animals for their fur. And there are animals which depend on both plants and animals for their food. Now, what are the animals which depend on only plants for? The animals which depend on only plants are called as herbivores. What are they called? They are called as herbivores or herbivorous animals. The animals which depend on only animals for their food are called as carnivores. What are they called as? Carnivores or carnivorous animals. Carnivorous animals. Next, the animals which depend on both plants and animals for their food are called as omnivores or they are also called as omnivorous animals. So now you understood that the animals are divided into herbivores, carnivores and omnivores based on their food habits. Now write down the classification of animals based on food habits. Classification of animals based on their food habits are herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. What are they? Herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Classification of animals. Now you are classifying the animals based on their food habits. Food habits. How the animals are classified? First one they are classified as herbivores. Herbivores in the sense they are herbivorous animals. That is, they depend on only plants for their food. Depend on only plants for their food. Second one, carnivores. Or they are also called as carnivorous animals. They depend on other animals for their food or they are also called as flesh-eating animals. Okay, next, omnivores are omnivorous animals. Okay, children. So, here, in the sense, depending upon the food habits, they are classified as herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Not done, children, in your notes. Herbivores are plant-eating animals. Plant-eating animals. Carnivores are flesh-eating animals. In short, shortly you can write as such. Omnivores are, they eat both plants, and animals. Okay. Now done children. 
I have written this, I hope. So children, now the next, the way of the classification of the animal is frugivorous animals. The type is frugivorous animals. What are frugivorous animals? So they are also called as frugivores. Frugivores or frugivores. What are they? Frugivorous animals or especially the mammals. They are the mammal mammalian herbivores. Hope you know what are mammals. Mammals are the animals which give birth to their animals and feed their animals with their own milk. What are mammals children? Mammals are the animals which give birth to their animals and feed their animals with their milk. So, these mostly the ma mammals, mammalian herbivores, the two they depend on plant products for their food. So here the frugivores depend upon mostly the fruits. They depend on fruits. Fruits. Also they depend on the succulent fruits or vegetables, shoots, roots, seeds and nuts too. Okay, so mostly the frugivores depend upon the fruits as their food. Depend on fruits. They depend on succulent roots, shoots, that is stems, shoot systems, stems and also the nuts, seeds, etc. for their food. 20% of the mammalian herbivores are frugivores. Okay children, so this is about the classification of animals based on their food habits. So now we'll see about how do animals eat. Okay. So take the page number 23 children. 23. How do animals eat? Plants and animals are the main sources of food in our surroundings. We know this. Isn't it? Like us, animals also depend on these sources for food. Animals also depend on Plants and animals as we have studied and known till now. Every animal has its own style of getting food. Every animal. Some hunt the animals. Some search the animals. Sorry, some their food. Some hunt the other animals for their food. Some search their food. They run. They search their food. Here and there. By wandering here and there. Some animals will be searching their food. Isn't it? And they track collect, grab or hunt and they use the various parts of their body to take the food into the mouth finally. So this is how the animals eat or how do the animals eat is the next topic. So the mode of living, in the mode of living, the how do the animals take their food? How do the animals take their food? How do the animals eat the food? That is the topic. Mode of living. In mode of living, how do animals eat? So, what can we say about this? So, both animals eat both plants and animals. As you know, through the classification of the animals, we have understood through observation. Also, we have understood that some animals take plants as their food, some animals take any other animals as their food, some animals take in both the plant products and animals also as their food, and some animals take only the fruits for their food, like bats, which are frugivores. Is it clear? So, here, as you know very well, that the, anim the animals, what do they do? They first they collect the food. How do they collect the food? They see, they search and some animals they wander here and there and collect the food. And by searching or seeing or hunting, they collect the food. Okay, so first in order to collect the food, they have to track down the food. Then they track down, they collect, grab or hunt. In, in order to do these activities, they need mouth parts or certain 
parts of the body and other parts of the body to hunt of the body. So mostly teeth, mouth parts like teeth, tongue are being used to grab or collect the food. Okay children? So they, what do they do? Mouth parts and other parts like they use their nails, hands, that is legs. Some of them use their beaks, but if you see about the uh, birds, they use their beaks to, find, to track their foot and collect their foot. Some by observing and the, by keen observation, some hunt the foot, foot material. Is it clear? So we can see that different animal use different animals uses different methods in collecting and grabbing the foot. Okay, so what is it? Now you are going to see in this topic now, children. Note. See here, how do the animals track the foot? I said they track the foot, isn't it? They track the foot by using the different senses. What are the sense organs? What are the different sense organs you have? You have eyes to see, nose to smell, tongue to taste, ears to hear, skin to touch or feel, isn't it? So these are all the sense organs that are also present in the animals too. Do you believe or not? Yes, they also have the sense organs. So some sense organs are highly developed and more, or one, more, more than one sense organ is also developed in a single animal too. So these sense organs help them to track the foot and they collect the foot by using the mouth parts or beaks or hands or legs etc. So they collect the foot by using the organs that is body parts. They collect the foot by using the body parts or organs like mouth, legs, hands, teeth etc. Mouth parts, teeth that is teeth like teeth, tongue, legs etc. Okay, so they collect the fruit. As I told you, they take first they have to track the foot, then collect the foot, then they hunt the foot, or sometimes they grab the foot from others, and also they hunt the foot. For hunting, they need the nails, that is, the, they use their legs to hunt the food materials. So in, in such a manner, they use their senses. In some animals, the sense organs like smell is highly developed. In some other animals, the sense organs like eyes are highly developed. In some others, hearing capacity is very much developed. If you see the bats, bats have the high hearing capacity. Okay, children? So, hearing capacity of bats is very high. And the, if you see the vultures or eagles, for them, vision is highly developed. So, what are the sense organs that is highly developed in different animals? Highly developed in different animals. Now, I am going to tell you. Like if you see the sight, sense of vision. Sense of sight or vision. That you can see about the vultures, vultures, eagles. In these birds, sense of vision is highly developed. Okay, next. If it is about the hearing capacity, hearing capacity, you can say about the bats. Bats of high hearing capacity. Next, sense of smell. Smell. Dogs and cats, you know, very well. That dog scents with the help of their smell, isn't it? They sniff, isn't it? When there is any food material, they first sniff the food material and come forward to eat it. So, mostly the police also use the dogs for smell purpose as they, they use the dogs up to uh, catch the peeps and all through the high sense of, of its uh, highly developed sense organ that is smell. Okay, next coming to the sense of taste. Taste. 
mostly the reptiles reptiles they depend on the taste okay so this is these are the sense organs of different animals which are highly developed hope you have understood now children about the sense organ and through a simple activity we'll prove this about the how do this animals depend upon the different sense organs note on this first mostly children bats they have high sense of hearing they track the insects with the echolocation and they tra track with their wings or the lining membranes of the tail membranes also we be helpful for them to track the insects or any other uh, objects that they, they need okay so to eat uh, they also eat fruits also they also eat fruits and nectars and pollen also they depend upon so like this if you see see the board here children write the parts of the body animals are used to collect or capture the food now so what are the different parts of the body which the animals used in order to capture the food we have already known that animals first they track the food they collect the food and grab or hunt the food in order to grab or hunt the food they use the different body parts and the different body parts are used by different animals to track and collect the food or hunt the food for this now you see the table 2 first one is dog so what is the sense used by in taking food or in tracking the food by the dog you have to write over here now so what is the sense organ highly developed by the dog that is sense of smell so body parts used in taking the food mostly you will be seeing the dogs taking the food with the help of its tongue mouth part isn't it tongue is a part body part that is being used by the dogs for taking the food and they tear the flesh with their canine teeth so teeth and tongue you can write over there short teeth and tongue short teeth and tongue so you can see the page number of 24 over in your textbook and complete the table over there second one see there children second one cow what is the sense organ used by the cow in tracking down the food the cows mostly use the sense of vision seeing they search the food isn't it so vision they use the sense of vision for seeing in tracking down the food so what does the what are the body parts used by the cows in taking the food you mostly see the cows taking the food with mouth parts mouth parts are mostly used by the cows in taking their foods so mouth parts teeth and tongue teeth and tongue They take the liquids through their tongue, isn't it? Okay, children. The next third one is about hen. Mostly, you have you might be seeing the hens moving here and there, who also have the hens as their pet animals. Pets also they may be as the domestic animals. They may be having the hens in their houses, isn't it? And poultry farms also may be there, and they may be having the hens. that's etc so what are the what is the sense organ that the hens have in tracking down the food the sense organ that is the hens have is vision that is they search the food with their eyes okay so what are the body parts used by the hens to take the food beak short beak hens have the short beak beak to take its food so hens beak is very short you know it isn't it takes grains and insects with its beak short beak complete this table children in the similar pattern they have given you the other animals also and you have to write the sense organs and what are the body parts which they use in track down that for you have to write down and complete the
see below for that. Okay, so the, in the table, the fourth one is serial number, animal, sense used, in tracking the foot, and also the body parts used in taking foot. about cow, you have written about the dog, you have written about also, you have written about hen, isn't it? Now you are going to write about fourth one, frog. Frog, its sense of vision is highly developed and also hearing also. Okay, frog, its sense of vision and hearing is highly developed. So, and mostly you can see the frog moving its tongue out to catch the insects. You know very well that the frog eats insects, isn't it? So, its body part is tongue. It takes the foot with the help of its tongue. So, complete the table like this, okay? And the fifth one is, what is it? Snake. Frog is a carnivore. Hope you know very well. In the, in the Previously, I have written about the cow. It is a herbivore because it depends on only grass or the plant products for its food. We have studied already about the classification of the animals in which the animals which depend on only plants are called as herbivores, isn't it? And the dog, it is an omnivore. It depends on both plant and animal products for that food. Okay, and the hen, it is also an omnivore because it depends on both plants and animal products for its food. Now you are going to write about the snake. Whether snake is a carnivore or omnivore or herbivore children, it is a carnivore. Yes, it depends on only flesh for its food, isn't it? So, mostly the sense used in tracking the food is smell. Snake smell. Okay, so the mouth part, it uses its mouth to take its food. About the snake. Okay, children, the next one is about the bat. Bat, yes, it is bat. What is the sense organ that is highly developed? I told you, the bat, bats have the sense of uh, echolocation. It has a sense of echolocation through the hearing. The, the highly developed hearing capacity is seen in bats. So it eats mostly the insects or they track, track with their wings or the tail membranes and reach down to take the insect into, into their mouths. So through their mouth part itself they take and the sense of hearing is highly developed in the bats. So bats eats insects. It's also um, omnivore in sense. They also eat the frugivore. Sorry, it's a frugivore. Fruits, nuts, nectar and also the pollen. Pollen grains also it will be taken from the plants. Nectar from the plants. Okay, next coming to the seventh one is lizards. Lizards are the you know very well. They are reptiles that you see in your houses, gardens, house balls, etc., which depend on mostly the insects, isn't it? So what, do the, what is the sense organ that is highly developed in the lizards? Lizards also, the sense of vision and smell. Sense of vision and smell is highly developed. Vision and smell is highly developed. So what do the lizards eat? It, they eat the insects. So they have the sticky tongue to eat the Insects, sticky tongue, like that of frog. Okay, lizards also use the sticky tongue to take their food material. Next, vultures. 
vultures as you very well know that they have very good eyesight okay children eighth one you are going to write vulture so sense of vision is highly developed as i said you earlier what is the sense organ that is highly developed in vulture eagles etc sense of vision what do the vultures depend upon they depend upon dead and decayed organic matter mostly is it clear so they take use which body part they use to take the food beak the strong beak strong bent beak okay it has strong bent beak to catch over the object that is very low on the ground it will be flying high up in the air and can you be able to see a very tiny object that is in the on the ground and it locates it and grabs it out from very high position at the in the sky when it is flying in the sky also it can locate an object in on the ground very easily because of its highly developed vision next ninth one you can say about the lion what is a lion it is a carnivore it is a carnivore for lion also the sense of vision is highly developed and its legs claws and mouth are used for grabbing or taking the food its legs claws for cat also claws and mouth parts teeth and tongue are used for taking the food okay next hummingbird hummingbird the sense of vision is highly developed and it takes its food with the help of its beak long pointed beak about hummingbird hummingbird its vision is highly developed and it takes it takes it takes the food with its long pointed beak what is the food of hummingbird food of hummingbird is nectar from flowers okay so this is about the animals which take the food with the different body parts hope you have understood this children in next class i'll tell you about the other animals also how do they take their food okay complete the tables i have given you today and read what i have told you in today's class so come prepared with this for the next class hope you have understood the lesson children thank you very much have a nice day